Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about the um, crime of Dinesh D'Souza. And I'm putting, it is not a crime, okay? I'm putting crime in quotes right here because it really wasn't a crime, okay? Look, there are lots of laws on the book. Like in some places, you can't buy a sack of peanuts after dark. In some cases, you can't, in some states, you can't feed a beer to an elephant. I mean, these are on the books. But what I was going to say is, is that nobody has ever been indicted for violating the campaign finance law. Lots of people have violated the campaign finance law way worse than D'Souza did, but D'Souza violated the campaign finance law, and he made a mistake, and he admitted that he did. But nobody has ever been indicted on this ever before until Dinesh D'Souza. And the guy who prosecuted D'Souza, Preet Bahara, he recently got fired from his job on the file, the court file, and on... Preet Bahar specific file talked about that D'Souza was a staunch Republican. He opposed the Obama administration and he uh, was a staunch conservative. And that should not be on a criminal file, okay? That has nothing to do with the crime. At least it shouldn't be. That's third world crimes right there. To list somebody's political affiliation on the crime sheet. So, but, and then the Obama administration would not let Congress look at the file. But recently, the Trump administration is going to let Congress look at the file and see what they think on this. And basically, that crime was nothing more than politically motivated. It had nothing more to do than because D'Souza made a documentary titled Obama's America. And as I've said before, Obama's North Korea policy was good. I mean, he and he also condemned North Korea on human rights, the same as President Bush did. And I have to commend President Obama for that. Also, he awarded all the Japanese Americans who fought in World War II the Congressional Gold Medal. The same with the Puerto Ricans who fought in the Korean War, the Boer Kinnears, the the Puerto Ricans fighting the Korean War. And he awarded them the Congressional Gold Medal. So he did some good things. But as far as what Obama's America 2016 goes, I mean, all D'Souza did was report facts. And the facts are that Obama didn't want to make America a superpower. He didn't want to keep America that way. He wanted to reduce America's footprint in the world. And that is good in theory. But the problem with that is when that happens, evil superpowers can arise. And America, by and large, is a good superpower. So, and, and the and. The people that were confined with Dinesh D'Souza that he met, they thought it was ridiculous, too, that D'Souza served time for giving one of his uh, candidate friends too much money in the campaign finance law. They basically laughed about it. So, and that part, that was in the movie Hillary's America, but also Stealing America is a book by Dinesh D'Souza, and that's a really good book as well. And... I'm not coming to this as a conservative or a liberal, but somebody should not be attacked because of their personal beliefs or their political beliefs and indicted on crimes for it. And a lot of D'Souza's lawyers were left-leaning or liberal-leaning and rushed to D'Souza's defense and thought this was despicable and disgraceful. And particularly Alan Dershowitz told D'Souza, I admire President Obama, but he said, they're coming after you because of your beliefs. And D'Souza's main lawyer was liberal as well. And he admitted he highly disagreed with D'Souza on a lot of stuff, but that D'Souza shouldn't be prosecuted in this manner. So, anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and bye-bye. Bye-bye.